All right, after you remove the transducer from the box, you are going to find this plastic bag with this piece of paper inside. And this piece of paper is basically showing you that you need to remove the nut, uh, thread it through the hole, and then reinstall the split nut. Uh, there may be not the best instructions, but we're gonna give you a pretty detailed instruction on how to do it. So again, Garmin includes two of these. Uh, we call them split nuts, or that's what Garmin calls them. And they're kind of like the old model toys that you had when you were kids that you had to put together. There's two little legs right here that are connecting the nuts, and we're gonna show you how to do this. So, we're gonna start off by, you need to remove the o-ring that is on the connector so you can either reuse this garmin does include two of them or you can discard it after that the nut we take a little pliers you're going to have to break this nut and it breaks pretty easy uh, so we're just going to go ahead and break it off All right. So now that we've got the nut broken off, we can set the broken pieces aside. And now we are left with just a clean connector. So now we're going to thread it through the pole up and out the top of the pole so that we can reinstall the split nut and the O-ring. So on our live poles, we notch the side of the pole so that the cables go up the center of the pole and they'll come out the top of the pole. This lets for really nice cable management. You're not gonna get cables twisted around the pole and that way you can turn it 180 degrees, even 270 degrees. And you don't have to worry about wrapping the cables around the pole. So we've got the nut removed. We're gonna thread the connector up the pole all right, we now have the connector. It has come out the top of the pole. So we're gonna give ourselves a little extra cable. And then we are gonna go and install the split nut. So I still have my stock O-ring that I had. And here's the split nut. So if you take the nut and you literally break it, those two little tabs, there's these little legs and you're gonna to wanna to remove those. You can break them off with your fingers on both sides, or if they stick to one side, that's even better. So now we want, there's a ring on the end of this connector right here. So obviously there's a portion that is not threaded. That is going to go here in this gap or this opening. The threads, the, the start of the threads need to be towards the connector side. And so if you, if you do it wrong, the nut's just gonna slide off. So we need to put the ring to the, to the, the main cord side and the threads towards the connector side. So we're gonna hold that one in place. We're gonna do the same thing with the other half and you can see that there's a gap on either side as we put it together. And if you just slowly and gradually put pressure, you're gonna hear it snap into place. That side snapped and that side snapped into place. So now we have our nut in place. Now we can take our O-ring, put it over the end of the connector, kind of press it down into place. As we tighten it onto the box, it'll seat that O-ring.